ladies and gentlemen, it is mock draft season, and so we're gonna be doing a lot of mock drafts. Don't worry, we're still doing Green Bay Packers, but I mean, it's draft time. That's what we're gonna be doing. Before we get into the picks, though, I just need to let you know that we've got a $100 giveaway going. If you're interested in winning the $100, it's a very, very simple. Step one, subscribe to the channel. Step two, hit the bell notification. You don't actually have to do that to win, but I'm gonna ask you to do that anyways. Maybe it's bonus points, maybe it's not, maybe don't worry about it. The actual step two, go into the uh, description, find the link to our Facebook group, join that, and drop in a seven run mock draft for your favorite team or for all teams, I don't really care how many you do, but I'm gonna be selecting one mock draft that is the most liked or whatever I feel like from the group. I'm gonna make a video out of it, like this one right here. And then the video that gets the most positive interaction, I guess, is gonna win $100. So make sure you go ahead and do all those things, starting with subscribing to the channel. But all right, let's get into the picks. First of all, we've got pick number two, starting off with Drake May, the quarterback out of North Carolina. He is the epitome of athletic prowess. Despite a poor offensive line in 2022, his numbers were through the roof. With his ability to make plays off platform and under pressure, he's bringing back memories of his father, Mark, and brother Luke, both UNC legends. May is not just a pocket passer. His tall athlete got wheels, making him a true dual threat on the ground. Moving on to pick 37, we've got Leonard Taylor, defensive tackle from Miami. He is a absolute powerhouse with a burst that belies his size. He's projected a top 120 pick, which is fantastic because we're taking a bit pick 37, so that checks out. Taylor's got the chops to hold up at the point of attack with the instincts that make him an invaluable run defender. He is so strong in his core that he often requires a double team just to be contained. He's a true anchor on the defensive line. At pick 43, we have Adisa Isaac, edge rusher from Pems Penn State, with the kind of motor that just does not quit. His quickness off the line and fluid athleticism mean he can chase down quarterbacks like it's nothing. Isaac's got the hands and moves to bend the edge, putting offensive tackles on skates. Jeremiah Trotter Jr., taking a pick 67, brings energy to the linebacker position from Clemson. He's got a motor that overcomes blockers and the agility to manage space in coverage. Quick to read the play and with the speed to finish, Trotter is also no slouch in coverage, jamming receivers with the best of them. Then, there's Brandon Coleman, OG, from TCU, that's offensive guard, but still cool, coming in at pick 100. Coleman is a beast with elite athleticism, making it into Bruce Feldman's freak list. He can squat 600 pounds, but it's not just about strength, his footwork is impeccable. Whether it's in pass protection, run blocking, Coleman's wide base and intelligence make him a formidable force on the line. Just one pick later at pick 101, we got Blake Corum running back from Michigan. He's a blend of power and speed. This guy's gym numbers are off the charts, but it's his vision on the field that's truly impressive. Corum is a versatile back who can find a hole and burst through it, turning a routine play into a highlight reel. Wide receiver Brennan Rice from USC got chosen just another pick at 102. His athleticism is in his DNA. Just look at his father, Jerry Rice. Brennan has the speed to go vertical and the hands to make any catch necessary, not to mention he's got a big game mentality stepping up when the stakes are highest. Just a few picks later, coming in at pick 105 is Blake Fisher, offensive tackle out of Notre Dame. This guy understands the game at a high level, reacting to defensive fronts with an understanding of angles that can't be taught. His balance and strength and pass protection make him a wall that's tough to get around. Last but not least, we got pick 219. He might actually be least, but he might not be, so there you go. We have Isaiah Williams, wide receiver from Illinois. Williams is the kind of athlete who can take the top off a of defense with speed. He's not just a deep threat, though. His blocking skills ensure he is a dual threat in the run game as well. Well, that's it, folks. That is our Washington Commanders mock draft. Remember, join our Facebook group, submit your own mock draft for a chance to win $100. Just click the link in the description if you haven't already subscribed to the channel for more sports insights and chance to win. Until next time, keep those mock drafts coming. Maybe you will win the fan thing giveaway competition. Doesn't have a name yet, but have a good day.